in terms of ruthlessness, uh, bloodlust, Stalin remains one of the greatest villains of the 20th century. Yosef Jukashvili was born on December 18, 1879. He later changed his name to Stalin, meaning man of steel. Stalin had a very harsh childhood in terms of poverty, and he had a tough life as a young man and was very quickly attracted to radical movements and causes. Between 1902 and 1913, Stalin was imprisoned eight times by the Russian secret police. Stalin's rise to power started after the Russian Revolution of 1917, when the Bolsheviks deposed the Tsar and created a communist society. Lenin died in 1924, and there was a big struggle about the succession of Lenin. Stalin eventually took over in a very complex maneuver that really showed his master skills as a manipulator of men. Under Stalin, Russia became the second largest uh, industrial economy in the world. It was all planned economies, five-year plans, and if you didn't play by his rules, you went off to a labor camp, and, or you were summarily executed in, in some fashion. Three million kulaks died as a result of Stalin's policies in the early 1930s. Now, he did increase the amount of food that was being produced, but at what cost? During what many historians term Stalin's reign of terror, no one was safe from his ambition. His forced industrialization led to countless millions of deaths and the worst man-made famine in human history. Just before World War II, Hitler and Stalin signed a non-aggression pact. That fell apart uh, in June of 1941 when Hitler invaded the Soviet Union. When the Germans turned and began to invade Russia, they underestimated Joe Stalin. The siege of Stalingrad was so great there was no food on either side. So the German soldiers would give little children who were residents of Stalingrad a crust of bread if they would fill their canteens from the Volvo River. And as the children came back into Stalingrad, they were shot by Stalin snipers. That's how he consolidated his power. The most uh, feared man in Russia, and with very good reason. The Soviet Union lost an estimated 20 million people during World War II, more than any other nation. During the Big Three conferences, Stalin demanded much of Eastern Europe as compensation. Stalin established an iron curtain from the Baltic to the Adriatic Sea. The Soviet Union was a major superpower with the potential of a nuclear arsenal in 1949. So that meant he had brought the Soviet Union from a minor regional power in Europe to a global superpower. On March 5, 1953, Joseph Stalin died. Stalin is regarded by many Russian citizens as a great man. They had enormous pride in what he did for their country. Uh, he raised it to a level that it had not been before. He was mostly feared. He gave us the KGB, he gave us the Soviet labor camps, he gave us summary executions. We don't know how many people died at his hand in his own country for those reasons that were real and imagined, because they did not play by Stalin's rules. I think Stalin's image today is increasingly concentrated around his role as one of the greatest mass murderers of the 20th century.